Merdeka Palace from Wikipedia to Free Encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Merdeka Palace, which translated to Indonesian as Istana Merdeka, is one of six presidential palaces in Indonesia. It is located on the north side of the Merdeka Square in central Jakarta, Indonesia, and is used as the official residence of the President of the Republic of Indonesia. The palace was a residence of the Governor General of the Dutch East Indies during the colonial era. In 1949, the palace was renamed Merdeka Palace. Merdeka meaning freedom or independence in Indonesian. The Merdeka Palace is part of the 17 acres Jakarta Presidential Palace Complex, which also includes the Negara Palace, Wisma Negara, Sekretariat Negara, and Binagraha Building. It is the center of the Indonesian Executive Authority. Section 1 History The Beginning The building that is now the Merdeka Palace was built in the premise of the Raceway Palace, now Istana Negara, when it was considered no longer sufficient for administrative purposes such as big receptions and conferences during the mid-19th century. In 1869, the construction of new palace was given by Governor General Peter Mayers. Construction took place on the south lawn of the Raceway Palace on 23 March 1873 during the tenure of Governor General James Loudon. The new Palladian Palace was designed by Jacobus Bartholomeus dos Sires and was built by the Department of Public Works and the contracting firms Grossires and Company at a cost of 360,000 Dutch East Indies Gilden. The new building was built in Southern Park of the Raceway Palace grounds, directly facing Konings Plain, now Merdeka Square. Construction of the palace was finished in 1879 during the tenure of Governor General Johann Willem van Landsberghe. The new palace was given the official name Palace van de Gouverneur General or Palace of the Governor General, the official residence of the Governor General of the Dutch East Indies and his family. Governor General Johann Willem van Landsberghe was the first to reside in the building. Governor General Charda van Starkenburg Stachauer was the last Dutch Governor General to reside in the palace. Japanese Occupation During the Japanese occupation of Indonesia from 1942 to 1945, the Saiko Shikikan or Army Commander of the Japanese garrison resided in the Raceway Palace compound. Three Japanese commanders have taken residence in the Merdeka Palace. First Independence The Indonesian National Revolution from 1945 to 1949 ended with the Netherlands recognition of the Republic of Indonesia. The Indonesian Declaration of Independence from the Dutch in 1949 was announced in Gambir Palace. During the ceremony, the Dutch flag was substituted with the flag of Indonesia. Many spectators were rejoicing when the flag was hoisted and yelled Merdeka or Freedom. From that moment, Raceway Palace was became known as Merdeka Palace. Tony Loving, the High Commissioner of the Dutch Crown, was the last man representing the Dutch power to leave the palace. The name of was the palace officially changed to Istana Merdeka or Independence Palace on 28 December 1949 at 5 to 5 p.m. 
On 27 December 1949, a day after the ceremony, President Sukarno and his family arrived from Yogyakarta. From the first time, the President of the Republic of Indonesia settled in Merdeka Palace. The first annual Independence Day ceremony was held at the Merdeka Palace in 1950. Section 2. Evolution of the Merdeka Palace The building has remained unchanged since the building was finished in 1879. After the Indonesian independence, the Merdeka Palace compound was expanded to include not only Istana Negara, but also to construct Wisma Negara, Secretariat Negara, and Binagraha Building. Several colonial buildings and residences were demolished in the well written area to make new way to today's dead palace compound. A small octagonal gazebo located in the courtyard of the palace was used as private school for Sukarno's and the palace staff's children. This gazebo was previously used by Dutch colonial officers as music copal or music gazebo where music performances were played during formal pause. When Suharto became president of Indonesia, he made changes to the previously residential function of the palace. Sukarno's bedroom was converted into Ruang Bendera Pusaka or Regalia Room and the room of Sukarno's wife Fatmawati became the president's bedroom. An old wooden building in the palace complex known as Sanggar was demolished to make way for the new Puri Bhakti Renatama building and was used as a museum to store valuable artifacts, artworks, and gifts from foreign emissaries. Later, he also built the Binagraha building on the palace grounds, which he used as his office. When Megawati took office, she had the Puri Bhakti Renatama building converted into the president's office while its contents moved to Binagraha building. She also restored the furniture and decorations of the palace back to the way it was under Sukarno. Suharto's Jepara wood carving furniture was removed with the exception of the Ruang Jepara or Jepara room and replaced with the old colonial refurbishment. Section 3. The Merdeka Palace Now The Merdeka Palace serves as an official venue for state events such as the Independence Day Ceremony, welcoming dignitaries, cabinet meetings, state banquets, and reception of letters of credence from foreign ambassadors. Additionally, it still contains the president's private quarters and offices. The administrative role that the palace once had has been shifted to the state palace and state secretariat, while the Merdeka Palace remains a symbol of authority. Layout of the Palace a 17 meters tall flagpole and a fountain are located on the front lawn of the Merdeka Palace. An annual flag raising ceremony takes place during the Indonesian Independence Day of 17 August. During Independence Ceremony, the veranda is often used as a ceremonial stage for the president and dignitaries. Notable rooms in the place include First, Ruang Credential provides entrance to the palace and is the place where most diplomatic activities are conducted, such as receiving state guests, 
and ambassadors. The credential hall is decorated with furniture that dates back to the colonial days as well as paintings and ceramic works. Second, Ruang Japara was a former study room of Sukarno and named after the central Japanese town of Japara, source of the room's carved wooden furniture and ornaments. Third, Ruang Raden Saleh is located in front of Ruang Japara. The room was previously used as the first lady's office and living room. Megawati used the room to store five paintings by Indonesian painter Raden Saleh. Four, Ruang Resepsi is the largest room of the palace. It is usually used for state banquets, state gala dinners, national meetings, and in cultural performances. There are two paintings of Basuki Abdullah. On the eastern wall hangs Pergiwa Pergiwati, a painting theme from Mahabharata, and on the west wall hangs the Japanese Jakataru paintings. Ruang Bendera Pusaka or Regalia Room The room is used to store Bendera Pusaka, the first Indonesian flag, that was raised during Indonesian Declaration of Independence on 17 August 1945. The presidents after Sukarno no longer use the palace as a residence, although it is still the official presidential residence. The palace's offices are still in use by the current Indonesian president. During the Suharto administration, Suharto prepared to reside in his own house at Jalan Cendana, Menteng. While the palace and Pinagraha only served as his office. The palace was once again become the official presidential residence during the Abdurrahman Wahid and Megawati administrations. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono sometimes resides in Merdeka Palace. However, just like Suharto, he often prefers to reside in his own house at Puri Chikayas Gunung Putri district of Bogor Regency, West Java, south of Jakarta. Section 4. Changing of the Guard Since 17 July 2016, the changing of the guard ceremony by the Pas Pampres has been opened to the public. It is held at 8 a.m. on every last Sunday of the month in front of the palace yard. This sound file and all texts in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0